A Merrill Lynch stockbroker was arrested and fired. Was it for financial fraud? Was it for collapsing the economy? No, nothing like that. But it was something having to do with harassing workers while they were on the job. He was actually caught on camera hurling racist comments at workers at a smoothie store in Connecticut. So first a little context and then we'll go to the video of the situation. So it all started when James Ianzano, or I'm sorry, Ianazo, uh, he's the 48 year old broker here. He ordered a smoothie from a Robex smoothie shop outlet for his son who has a peanut allergy. According to the Fairfield Police Department, he ordered a drink without peanut butter, but he did not mention that his son has an allergy. After uh, his son suffered an allergic reaction uh, and was transported to an area hospital, he returned to the shop. So let's just pause there. Obviously, this is devastating. It's awful. Um, you know, it appears that one of the workers there made a mistake. If your kid has a very serious peanut allergy, you got to make that abundantly clear. You got to double check, especially considering the ramifications of um, you know consuming peanuts. Um, but then things got even worse, okay? Because he decided to go back to the store and engage in a rant. And it is really interesting how. Some people, when they're angry, immediately resort to comments about race or ethnicity, and that's exactly what happened here. Let's watch. I have no room to yell at us. I want to speak to the person who made this train. Is that you? No, it wasn't. We don't know who made it, so. You don't know who made it? There's four of us here, so we honestly don't know. You're in high school kids. Okay, bye. I want to speak to the Okay, you can call corporate whatever you want. Goodbye. Jam stuff. So look, uh, I'm not on the guy's side. I want to be clear that I understand like when your kid gets sick or hospitalized, of course, you're going to be very upset, tensions flare, I get that, okay? With that said, you obviously can't throw things at people and you also probably should avoid referring to uh, the person that you're yelling at as, a, as an immigrant loser. And shockingly, I was actually surprised about this, Francesca. He was arrested and fired from his job as a result of that video, which quickly received 16 million views. So yeah, I mean, I'll give you more details on his arrest in just a moment. But first, how about a reaction to his reaction? I mean, yeah, I think that given the context, you understand someone is upset, someone is is angry. But but given that, explain what happened, right? That the, these are humans and people as well. They maybe made a mistake. You could say, hey, my son had this peanut allergy. I, you know, I'm like, please like remedy this, or like, or even just say I'm mad about it. Mm-hmm. And they, they, you know, then there that would at least maybe lead to I don't know a blanket apology. But no, instead he comes in there kind of guns blazing and proceeds to yeah call everyone what like a loser, an immigrant, it's just so unnecessary. Tries to get into the actual area that they're working. My initial thought was, man, people don't get paid enough to deal with customers. And like, let's be real, everyone forgot how to act in the totally. pandemic. Like, it just, I don't know what, what happened. What came over folks that suddenly we were allowed to go outside again? And it was like, guess what? All my rage gonna be taken out on maybe someone who's not even earning 15 an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was actually having a conversation about this with my husband because, you know, he he mentioned like, oh, these companies need to start paying more. And look, this is anecdotal, and overall, I do agree with him. But even some of these restaurants, like I noticed a Panda Express that we were at, 
Don't judge me, mm -hmm. I kind of like that orange chicken. No, that's fine. Um, <laughs> they had a sign up saying like, we offer paid time off and health benefits and $22 an hour and they're like desperate to find workers. Yes. And, and I brought that up because I'm like, look, in some cases they are offering better benefits, they are offering better pay. But have you seen the way workers are treated right now, either in retail or anything related to like the service sector? They're treated like they're, they're not human. They're being mm -hmm. abused, they're being yelled at. Think about it, they not only have to do their jobs, but on top of it, in some cases, they also have to be like mask enforcers. They have to do yep. so much more that tends to touch on raw emotions and like super combative people who don't wanna follow like simple rules. It's, it's a stressful job to have. No, exactly. It's way above their pay grade. And look, I what is the answer? Cops? Hell no. I'm not I would never want that. You know, but there could be an unarmed kind of security, some measure of assistance would not be much for a lot of these corporations and franchises to be able to delegate that person to like, you know, make sure everyone's, you know, acting right, come correct and can like offer some support. Again, unarmed support, but some support. Um you know, I don't think it is, it's not like a, well, guess you're just gonna have to deal with it, I'll pay you more. I don't know, you want a free Spotify account, which <laughs> Starbucks was floating for a little bit. Oh my God. Which is just like <laughs> almost insulting. But here's here's the thing, like, do you think he should have lost his job? You know, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of people will be like, wow, canceled. But at the same time, it's Merrill Lynch. It's a private company that, as you said, loves to prey on poor people, loves to, I mean, they might not say immigrant loser, but man, they definitely treat immigrants poorly. Um, and so you you almost wonder, like, I don't know, like I'm, I'm sort of at a crossroads about that. But also it's a private company, they can do whatever the hell they want. You yeah, know? that's true. I, okay, generally speaking, I'm not, I'm not really in favor of like, get them fired and destroy their lives. Yeah. Cuz it's not just about the individual who engaged in wrongdoing, it's also about like the consequences that this guy's family is gonna have to face as a result of his bad behavior. Um, this, I don't know, it's a tough situation. You're right, it's a private company, they can do whatever they want. But overall, I would just urge people to kind of hesitate before calling for people to lose their livelihood. Um, this guy though, he did get be arrested fine. because he <laughs> it's assault, like throwing things at people, it's assault. Um, you can't get arrested for saying racist things. <laughs> That's a actually yeah. protected speech. But the way that he was treating the workers is what got him in trouble. So he was charged with intimidation based on bigotry or bias, breach of peace and criminal trespass. And that's according to a police report. Following his arrest, he was fired from his position at Merrill Lynch, as we mentioned. He had been working there for 26 years. They released a statement saying, our company does not tolerate behavior of this kind. We immediately investigated and have taken action. This individual is no longer employed at our firm. But you know, another perspective is, well, most people who end up getting arrested end up losing their jobs as well, you know? Um, so mm -hmm. getting arrested is serious and there's evidence of what he did. And then look, and I get it, like there's the other part of me that's also sympathetic to the fact that he was probably in panic mode because of what happened to his son. But that still yeah. doesn't justify, justify abusing people and it certainly doesn't justify calling someone an immigrant loser because you're upset. Um, you gotta find a better way to release that stress or that frustration and just, it's hard, but you're an adult. You gotta figure out a way to do it, you know? Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.